Okay, so you want to start down here, and you don't know yet how to slide. So jump, jump too much further, too much further than you can, and let's start with the basic, uh, very important slide, the snowplow, which I think people don't speak about it enough. The snowplow can be applied in many, many, many ways, and there are many techniques to do it. The first snowplow you can do, if you see, I'm getting a little bit speed, and both of my edges are on the outside. What's important is to push the ankles to the outside, not the toes, to create like a triangle. Because if your feet are both parallel, you see I'm gaining speed, nothing happens. But if I'm really pressing with my heels outside, creating a triangle, it's really stopping me to be fast. Okay, so again, look at my inline skates, they are really um, in a triangle position, and that's what's stopping me. As you see, I use both of the outside edges. It's a very good method to control the speed. You see, I don't gain speed. It's quite steep here. If I'm gonna let it go, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly. So this is a really good method to gain, not to gain speed, to control your speed and to be slow. Because the goal in downhill never gain more speed than you can control. You're gonna crash, you're gonna fall, and then you don't wanna do it again. So always be in control, always be in the speed, you can control, you can stop it. Now, the other method of snowplow is to use the inside edges. As you see now, this is, this will not work almost in a slow speed, okay? But in a higher speed, what's gonna happen? My wheels, my boat skates start to slide. And look, I will do it again in a higher speed to show you how I really, really managed to stop like that. Okay? Voila. What you need to do again is to apply inside edges and heels outside. Because if I don't do nothing with my heels, look, I'm getting speed. I'm getting speed. Nothing happens. Heels outside, inside edges. Now, a lot of people are more comfortable to do it with one leg, which is more uh, more into it. Uh, you see, my, for example, for me it's easier when my right leg is more dominant. It's okay. You need to work on both of your legs. Then you can do the slope, which is a very safe uh, slide breaking technique because we always face towards the, the heel, okay, we don't need to turn, so if something goes bad, we follow forward, and to prevent that, I see a lot of people starting to take their shoulders backwards, don't do it, again, we will speak about it later in my series of videos, but shoulders are with the knees, and the knees are with the front wheel, same like in speed skating, you want to be lower, not with your shoulders, with your ass. So here as well, the more you see it, it's easier for you to apply edges with your knees and shoulders forward with knees, with the front wheel, like that we're not going to fall. You're never going to fall if you do it right. It's a very safe braking system. Okay, so again, try to be active with the right leg, also with the left, and try to apply it both times. It's very effective stops okay this slide the only thing I don't like about it it's very hard for the muscles okay it's gonna hurt if you do it a lot but in lower speeds in the city when you don't have place to carve you don't feel so much secure I did a lot of my students it's very very good method and it's a must because if we master this the next step it's gonna be the magic. So stay t stay tuned for my next video. See you. I'm gonna have some fun.